I've had great days in my life, but this here is probably one of the highest highs I've ever had to baptize your own child. I want to thank God for Anna. I want to thank God for her recommitment to Christ. She was saved as a young lady and uh, baptized years ago, but she's wanted to recommit her life. Uh, she's expecting in nine days, so I'm going to get to get two at one time. Uh, <laughs> so uh, before we uh, baptize her, I'm going to ask Miss Valerie Hancock to say a prayer over Anna. Uh, and Miss Valerie knows Anna very well. Well, Father, today we celebrate this joyous occasion with grateful hearts. Thank you for protecting and keeping Anna and baby Rose safe during the difficult times and the sweet times. Thank you for continuing to call out to Anna's heart. Today she's publicly demonstrating that she's heard that cry and has once again turned her life over to her Savior, Jesus Christ. May she always put you first in her life and all else will be added unto her. I pray abundant blessings, grace, and favor over Anna, her new family, and the new life you fashioned for her. She is dearly loved in heaven and on earth. And to you, Father, goes all the glory and thanks for the sweet redemption we're witnessing today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Okay, Anna, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? Yes, sir. Do you want to be filled with the Spirit and live for Him for the rest of your life? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to baptize you right now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Next, we want to uh, welcome Olivia Yalakovitz. She's coming up, and uh, her mom, Lisa, is going to baptize her this morning. day I'm so excited for you I just want to let you know you know before you were born we were praying for you to have a healthy baby you to be a healthy baby born into our family but we have also prayed for you to be saved and to be baptized so here we are to celebrate with you now this week while I was thinking about and praying on what God wanted me to say today he took me to the story of when Samuel was gonna go and anoint David and I want to read this to you out of my Bible, okay? It comes from 1 Samuel chapter 16. And I'm going to start reading in verse 6. But let me tell you what happens right before this, okay? Right before this, God is telling Samuel that he needs to go see Jesse in Bethlehem. And he's going to anoint one of Jesse's sons to be the next king. So Samuel travels to Bethlehem, and this is what happens. It says, when they arrived... Samuel saw Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. And Eliab is one of Jesse's sons. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and had him pass in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. Jesse then had Shammah pass by. But Samuel said, nor has the Lord chosen this one. Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. But Samuel said to them, the Lord has not chosen these. So he asked Jesse, are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse answered, but he is tending the sheep. Samuel said, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent and had him brought in. He was ruddy with a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, rise and anoint him. He is the one. So in this story, 
Jesse had all of his sons in front of Samuel, all the older sons. His, his youngest son wasn't even there. He was out tending the sheep. He didn't even really think maybe he was the important one. Samuel thought the same way until God said, no, you know what? This is not what I'm looking at. I am looking at what's in your heart, not in what's on the outside. And Olivia, God sees what's in your heart. You have a love for people and you have a love for God that overflows in your life. And I just want to pray blessings over you that you are going to follow him all the days of your life. So Olivia, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. And I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Come on, celebrate, yeah. <laughs> All right, we have one more baptism this morning. Mr. Riley Lewis, if you'll come on down. Amen. This is our last one. So we just want to invite you to just remember to all we're, this is a, one of the, the greatest things we could ever celebrate is a life that's been changed, been renewed, and brought before God. And Riley, I'm just getting to know your story a little bit and I uh, love the fact that, that you hear God calling you and you want to take that next step and be a follower of Jesus and honor Him. and. Um, I want you to know, man, that uh, I, I don't know, I'm sitting here thinking about the, when the prodigal son was uh, a long ways off, the father saw him, and he didn't run out and meet him with judgment, he didn't run out and meet him with uh, condemnation, but he ran out and meet him, met him with love, threw his robe and his ring on him and threw a party, had a party, and so I know that there's rejoicing, there's rejoicing over you, all right? And so uh, we're just going to pray for you real quick and uh, ask you a few questions and baptize you. All right, and I'm going to invite y'all to celebrate with me. So, Father, we just thank you for Riley today. Just pray that you would guide his path. God, thank you for bringing him to this moment. Thank you. God, we know that this water is a symbolism, but God, we pray that there'd be a transformation. God, we pray that uh, as he lays down in this water, God, that the old man would be buried and the new man would resurrect. God, that there'd be newness of life. God, where there's been death, let there be life, we pray, oh God. God, we thank you for open opportunities. God, we thank you for the future. We thank you for life, God, that you can use. God, we pray that you would use him, God, all the days of his life, God, and that he'd remember that you are God and that he's your son. We bless you and we love you for it. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right. Uh, do you commit to promise to, to follow Jesus all the days of your life? Yes, sir. All right. I'm going to baptize you in the name of the Father, His Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, okay?